so you just got your DSLR, or maybe you're thinking about getting one soon, or maybe you've had one for a while, but you're still a bit lost when it comes to taking pictures outside of automatic mode. I was in that same situation a few years ago. I didn't know what the settings were or what they meant. I didn't know how to take a picture very well, other than just pointing the camera at something and pushing the button. <laughs> I made all the mistakes that everyone makes when they're trying to figure out photography at the beginning stages on their own. If you're like me, your photos might be pretty boring and they don't have a lot going for them. The image is probably underexposed or overexposed. They probably look like they're out of focus, they're blurry or grainy. They were taken at the wrong time of day. The color is probably looking funny and the lighting and composition are probably way off. Now sure, you may be able to put your camera in automatic mode and be able to take snapshots, that's the same reason why you're getting the types of results I just listed. Using automatic mode won't give you what you want. It's only going to give you what your camera thinks you want, which is very different. Your camera just isn't intelligent enough to make proper judgment calls about what types of settings should be used in certain situations. It can't automatically figure out how bright or how dark you want the picture to be, how warm or cold you want it, what you want in focus and what you don't, whether or not you want to include motion blur, how much of the picture you want in focus, if you want the image to be grainy or not, it doesn't know. So in short, if you haven't learned the essential principles of photography, you're basically shooting in the dark because your camera can't make very good artistic judgments. It's something that you have to learn and understand. What if you learned about the principles of photography first, before going out to try to take pictures? then you would actually be able to use that knowledge to your benefit when out on the field instead of spending all that time experimenting and trying to get shots. You would understand exactly what your camera is capable of. You'd be able to get out of automatic mode and into the manual mode and actually start producing images where you are in control of what you want to portray, not the camera. The camera won't be making the decisions. You will. If you don't learn the important principles before going out to shoot, you'll have to spend months experimenting, just like I did. Now, that's totally fine if you want to do that, but if I had to redo it, I would have liked to simply spend a day or two learning about the most important, relevant information about photography before I started, as that would have gave me a huge jump start in taking great images much faster. The problem is, there wasn't any video course out there that taught everything I needed to know. All the courses I found only taught a fragment of what I needed to know and left out the rest. They didn't go over how everything connects in photography. For example, some courses teach you how to use your DSLR, but they won't teach you about composition. Other courses teach you about post-production, but they don't teach you about light. So if you're brand new and you're just a little speck in the universe, you have no idea where to start. And that's exactly what this course is designed for. To give you a huge jump start where you can just take a few days, learn all the stuff all at once, and then you're set to go. The course is divided up into four modules. The first module is just all about how to master your DSLR camera. I'll show you what all the buttons do on your camera and I'll go through all the different types of modes, how to adjust the aperture, shutter speed, ISO, focus, white balance. I'll also show you a bunch of example pictures across a variety of different situations that you'll find yourself in. So for example, you might be in a nighttime situation and you need to know whether or not you want to use your flash or not. And if you do, what types of settings do you need to have dialed in on your camera and on your flash? Or maybe you're in a sunset and you may want to use your flash, or maybe you don't. I'll tell you why you would and why you wouldn't. Maybe you want to take a picture of something moving and you want to capture that motion in that image. Maybe you don't want to capture the motion, you want to freeze it instantaneously. After watching this module, you'll understand your camera and you'll be able to just pick it up and use it intuitively without having to think about what you're doing. And you'll be able to do that in any situation you find yourself in. Now module two is all about photography equipment. In this, you'll learn about all the different types of camera bodies that are available to you and which ones you should probably get if you don't have one yet. You'll learn about the different types of lenses you can use to create completely different images. You'll learn about the different types of filters that you could get. 
to create different effects on your images. You will also learn about all the different types of lighting equipment that you can use to create completely different moods of the image. And of course on top of that you'll also learn about the miscellaneous stuff like camera bags, tripods, memory cards, batteries, light modifiers, tripod heads, and so on and so forth. Plus a little bonus that's in module 2 is a 50 page PDF document that lists out everything that I explain in the videos but I also supply text and other explanations about this stuff. So you'll learn about the camera sensor, different types of lenses again, and with everything that I recommend I'll supply a link in the ebook so you can purchase it online if you want to. Module 3 is all about composition. Now it might be great if you learned all the camera settings and how to manipulate them, but if you don't have the photographer's eye, then the things that you're going to be taking pictures of aren't going to be very interesting. So this module will help you out with that. In this module, I'll show you all the different types of mistakes photographers make in the beginning and how you can avoid them. You'll learn where to place your subjects of interest by using the rule of thirds. You'll learn how to draw viewers into your photo using leading lines. You'll learn how to increase the aesthetic appeal of the image by using certain artistic elements like pattern and symmetry. You'll see how just a few symbolic tweaks to an image can subliminally change the viewer's psychological interpretation of it. You'll learn how to completely change the mood of the image by placing the lights in different locations. You'll learn what times of day you should take your picture and what times you shouldn't. But above all, basically your images will just look way more professional and they're not going to look amateur. And with module 4, this will just be all about post-production, how to edit your images on the computer. I'll first compare the different types of software. So there's basically three different programs we can use. You can use Lightroom, Photoshop, or Photoshop Elements. I'll compare all of those at the beginning. So in this you'll learn how to make your pictures brighter or darker and increase the shadows and the highlights in certain areas of the image if one part of it is too bright or too dark, which is very important. It's also known as dodging and burning. We'll go over how to make panoramas, how to stack images, how to increase the dynamic range of any given image, and how to use layers and layer masks. And if you don't know what any of that stuff is yet, you'll know by the end of the course and you'll be very thankful that you learned how to use it. So after watching this module, your photos will be brighter, sharper, more vivid, and dynamic. So with module 1 through 3, you're going to learn how to take a good photo. But with module 4, you're going to learn how to take that good photo and make it into an excellent photo. So if you're ready to start building a solid foundation in photography and learn it right the smart way, simply scroll down to the bottom of this page, click the Add to Cart button, Fill in your information using the secure order form and then you will be taken to the members area where you can get access to all 11 hours of video content. Oh, I almost forgot. There's also a 60 day 100% money back guarantee. So if you aren't satisfied in the least bit with this course, just email me within the 60 days and I will refund your money completely. Just scroll down to the bottom of this page, place your order. And by this time tomorrow, you'll be a better photographer. Thanks so much for clicking by. I'll see you inside the members area.